What up everybody in the YTBC So Normally every week I Do my best to put out at least one video Monday through Friday Saturdays and Sundays I don't do videos I record them Um, I think like once or twice I uh, Edited And uploaded a video On a Saturday But generally I don't do videos on Saturdays and Sundays And In the past I've made an exception One time Oh and and on Saturdays You know If it's a fight and I want to uh, You know Because fights happen on Saturdays A lot of times Saturdays a big fight night um, a lot of times I will do a video after if I can I don't always get to But if I can I'll do a video Right after the fight Give my thoughts Break down whatever <clears throat> I've only made an exception one time Other than those other than those, those circumstances There's only been one time I made A exception And that was On Muhammad Ali's 74th birthday it happened to fall on a Sunday, and um, the man has done so much for the sport. I felt, you know, to give him his due respect and step out of my um, routine that I have set and upload a video wishing him happy birthday. Edited some, you know, some stuff together and you know, just put in a little, a nice little video well today is Saturday June 4th 2016 and last night or actually I should say this morning when I woke up and um, started looking at YouTube I saw videos announcing the death of one of the greatest of all time I consider him to be the greatest of all time and it's it's very simple as to why he is the one that brought boxing into the forefront even though the sport had existed over a century before Muhammad Ali and we honestly don't even know how long the sport's been around as just As far as things being documented, we know it's been around for at least longer than 100 years before Muhammad Ali came to the sport. Being, even it being as old as it was, Muhammad Ali is the one that brought boxing into the spotlight. He is what Michael Jordan is to basketball. He is what Hulk Hogan is to wrestling. He is what um, Tiger Woods is to golf. All of these men took a sport that had already existed and they defined the sport. They we're in the public eye so much, you know, it it's I don't know, it I don't even know how to put it into words. This man when it comes to the sport is more than a man. Okay, these men when it came to their sports were more than men. Now, in reality, you know, of course, they're just human. Put their pants on one leg at a time. They bleed red. You know, they're in reality, in in the normal world, day-to-day living, they're no better than you and I. But when it comes to them, you know, stepping on that basketball court or... 
stepping on the golf course, stepping in that wrestling ring, which I know wrestling is not real, but Hulk Hogan still defined it. He he brought it to a level that it wasn't at previously. And Muhammad Ali did just that. When he stepped into the ring, he became more than just the standard man. He brought the sport of boxing to a level that it previously was not at. In a time where we didn't have all this social media, we didn't have all this information available to us. Muhammad Ali was able to make headlines. He was able to make more noise than what a lot of these people do today using Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and Pinterest and Periscope and all this other stuff. Muhammad Ali was able to do it without any of that. He was able to do that with nothing more than his own physical ability and charisma. Muhammad Ali will definitely be missed. Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time. And I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this. I'm going to mention this real quick. And he was also... He also stood for what he believed in. Now, me personally... I do respect our military. When they go to war... I, I have the utmost respect for them. But... Muhammad Ali did not believe in the cause of the Vietnam War. And he stuck by his guns. Even though he lost his boxing license. Even though, you know, he he lost a lot because he stood for what he believed in. And even though I have the utmost respect for anybody who goes into the military and fights for this country. I have... A lot of respect for him standing for what he believes in. It's something that's become somewhat of a lost art in today's day and age. A lot of people are just so willing to go with the flow. And in his case, I mean, I would have respected him if he went and fought in the Vietnam War. But at the same time... Being that he did not believe in the cause of why we were fighting in Vietnam. I don't blame him for not fighting in the war. And there was, there was a lot of negative impact on his, uh, on his professional boxing career because of it. <laughs> so... If any of Muhammad Ali's family, whether it be his daughters, you know, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, if you're related to this man, I just want you to know my thoughts and prayers go out to you and wish you the best. Just know that when it comes to the sport of boxing, Muhammad Ali was more than a man, was the greatest of all time. To all my subscribers, anybody who listened to my videos or if you just so happen to stumble upon this video, I thank you, wish you the best, the best in life, the best in health, and it humbles me that you give me the time of day peace to all Ale Bumbaye Ale Bumbaye I'm about to rumble in the jungle in these new Kanye's Ale Bumbaye Ale Bumbaye 
My lawyer threw them gloves on and beat another case. Fuck y'all mad at me, folks. My belt got two G's on and her belt.